Hi, I'm Jacob with Bat Conservation Management. I'm here to demonstrate assembling our Bat House pole mount accessory. Now the pole mount is a bracket that allows for a secure connection between a fairly wide 3 and 4 chamber Bat House and a relatively narrow post. This is used with a 4x6 wooden post available locally in 14 and 16 foot lengths. Now our kit comes with two wooden brackets and a bag of hardware. Some tools you might need are a drill with a Phillips head bit, a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, a 9 16 inch socket, a tape measure, and a square. Alright, now we are ready to attach our pole mount brackets to the post. Our first step is to find the center point of our post, which is at 2 and 3 quarter, and to find the center of our bracket, which is at 8 and 3 eighths. We want to line up our center points and you want to keep the bracket flush with the top of the post. Now we want to pre-drill one hole and attach a lag bolt. Now to speed up the process, I'm going to use an impact drill with the socket, but if you don't have an impact drill, a, a ratchet will do just fine. Just double check and make sure that the, the bracket is flush with the top and you can go ahead and pre-drill your second hole. And then attach your second black bolt. next step is to attach our lower bracket. First thing you want to do is find the center point again on the bracket, which is at 8 and 3 eighths, and find our center point on the post, which is at 2 and 3 quarter. Now to measure the bottom bracket, we want to make it about an inch shorter than the back of our bat house. This particular bat house is 23 and a half, so we want to make our mark at 22 and a half. This will allow a little bit of room of error just in case the bottom pole mount shifts a little bit. So we want to line up our center points and we can use a square to make sure that this pole mount is nice and square on the post. And we can go ahead and pre-drill one hole. and attach a lag bolt. Before you crank down on that, go ahead and make sure it is square. Pre-drill your second hole. All right, now that we have our pole mounts attached to our post, we're gonna use our ratchet to double check these lag bolts to make sure they're nice and tight. Sometimes the impact drill doesn't have enough juice to get these lag bolts nice and tight. All right, now our next step is to attach our bat house. We're gonna set our bat house right on the post we're going to line up the top of the back to our pole mount and there will be a little gap on either side just space those evenly and then you'll have your overhang down at the bottom you want to grab your drill with the Phillips head and your screws that come with your kit 
and you want to attack, you want to, you have four for the top and four for the bottom. So your first screw, you want to screw out here close to the edge. Your second one, do the same thing on the other side. There you go, and then evenly space the two in the middle. bottom you just want to double check the location of your pole mount and put your first screw close to the edge and do the same with the second screw and evenly space your two in the middle Now your bat house should be securely attached to your post. It's a good idea to add a final bead of caulk where the roofing paper meets the back of the bat house. This will help keep the water out. We also want to cover the screw heads. This will help weatherproof this top part of the bat house and help the wood from rotting. You want to put a, a good sized glob on there. We can also do the four screws on the bottom. And once this caulk is dry, you can you can paint over it with the same as the same color as the bat house to help camouflage it. Once the caulking is dry, paint it the same color as your bat house. If your bat house is already black, you can use this black roof repair sealant from any hardware store. Finally, we want to add some scratches onto the landing plate. It is important to keep this landing plate as rough as possible because the bats are going to be using it to get up into the bat house. And this concludes attaching a bat house to our pole mount kit.